It's Mrs. Sweet Tech with her friend Davy. And since we're on the letter B this week, we thought we'd share with you a story about being busy, which is a B word, and it's got some of Davy's mouse friends in it. This is The Very Busy Day by Diana Hendry. It was a hot, sunny day, and Big Mouse was digging in the garden. Little Mouse sat on a swing, wearing his sun hat. There's a lot of digging to do, said Big Mouse. Come and help me, Little Mouse. I'm too busy to help, said Little Mouse. I'm dreaming up something. And he swung up and down, up and down. You could plant these seeds, said Big Mouse. If you plant them in the soil, they'll dream up flowers. Um, said Little Mouse. I'm busy thinking about my own dream. Swish! Busy doing nothing, grumbled Big Mouse. Little Mouse slid off the swing, whee, and jumped into the wheelbarrow. He lay and gazed at the sky. I need that wheelbarrow for the weeds, said Big Mouse. And look at the mess you've made. Big Mouse tipped Little Mouse out onto the grass. Please, Little Mouse, I need help. I'm too busy to help, cried Little Mouse. And he ran off to pick some daisies. Big Mouse picked up all the weeds. He mopped his brow and stretched his back. Oh, it's hot, he puffed. And this wheelbarrow's very heavy all of a sudden. It was heavy because Little Mouse had jumped back in. He was sitting on top of the weeds, making a daisy chain. I'm not pushing you and the weeds, said Big Mouse. Out you go. Come and help me take the weeds to the dump. Little Mouse put the daisy chain around his neck and scrambled out of the wheelbarrow, but he still didn't help Big Mouse. He picked lots and lots of clover instead. He put some clover in a flower pot on the back porch. Big Mouse pushed the wheelbarrow to dump by himself, muttering angrily. Big Mouse went to find his rake. He couldn't see Little Mouse anywhere. Come on, Little Mouse, he called. There's a little rake here for you too. As Big Mouse climbed down a ladder, Little Mouse poked his head out. Can't you see I'm busy, he called. I'm collecting bird feathers. Oof, said Big Mouse. There's dreaming and there's doing. What about a little bit of doing from you? Little Mouse had found three snowy white feathers. He laid them carefully on the doorstep. Now Big Mouse was busy picking strawberries. Little Mouse, he called, could you help me carry this strawberry down the ladder? Can't stop now, said Little Mouse. I need something from the kitchen. The sun made Big Mouse's headache and he felt very annoyed with Little Mouse for not helping him. What is he doing now, Big Mouse grumbled. Little Mouse rushed out into the yard. Big Mouse, Big Mouse, he called. Look what I've made for you. It's your very own sun hat. Thank you, Little Mouse, said Big Mouse, putting it on his head. Now I can see you've been busy too. We've both been so busy, said Little Mouse, yawning. There's just time to do one more thing, said Big Mouse. And that's to take a nice long nap. Big Mouse and Little Mouse curled up together underneath the leaves. They were sleeping so soundly that Little Mouse's sun hat fell off and Big Mouse's sun hat slid right down over his nose. And there's the flowers with a beautiful ladybug because some of the activities I sent you today are also about bugs. And someone here has been pretty busy today too. We hope you're having a good day and we can't wait to see you on Thursday for our Zoom meeting. Bye till then.